on the day this story took place, which just happened to be the longest day of the year, a young man named Jack was sitting watching the laird's sheep. He was thinking about his sweetheart Jenny, who worked as a maid in the laird's mansion house. A commotion of bird voices caught Jack's attention. Tonight's the night! The sparrows were chirping. Dancing, trees, chatted the jackdaw. His mum arrived with lunch and he told her what he'd overheard. <gasps> I've heard tales that the big old oak tree goes dancing with the young birch trees every hundred years on Midsummer's Eve and that the trees keep treasures hidden amongst their roots. Here, take a ball of my yarn. You never know when it might come in handy. Jack! Someone called, and there was Jenny hurrying down the path. The laird's in a right state, muttering today's the day and getting crabby wee everyone. Jack filled her in on all he'd learned. Jenny tried to persuade him to go home as soon as his work was done. Then she hurried back to the mansion. Jack hid behind a clump of bushes. It was eerily quiet, but as the sun sank towards the horizon, an otherworldly music filled the air. There was a crack and a groan and the huge oak tree that some call old Kruvi heaved himself out of the ground. The birch trees on the hill began to shiver and shimmy along with him until all had shaken themselves out of the soil. The trees danced down the hill together The laird appeared and jumped down into the oak's huge root hole. The walls sparkled with gold. Jack jumped into a smaller hole left by a birch tree. Treasures gleamed in the moonlight. He plucked a large blue sapphire out in a gold ring. Just then, Jenny arrived back. Jack, you have to get out now. The trees are returning. He tried to scramble up the side, but the loose soil came away under his fingers. Remembering the ball of yarn, he held one end and threw the rest up to Jenny. He pulled himself up out of the root hole. Laird, Jack called, tying one end of the yarn to a bush and throwing the ball down into the large hole. The trees are coming back. You've got to get out of there. The laird ignored Jack and carried on filling a sack. The trees were dancing up the hill. Jack and Jenny ran home. They came back the next day and found the yarn still tied to the bush. It disappeared under the huge roots of the oak tree. Jack did not wait long to put the gold ring on Jenny's finger. Jack's mum sold the sapphire and bought a house on a loft where they lived happily. And the wealthy old laird, he was never seen again.